Hello, everyone. I wanted to talk about something that happened yesterday um, and how I did not lose my shit. And I only lost it a little bit, but I was able to get myself back and stay grounded and connected and calm when uh, something that was not in my control happened. So I went to uh, the park yesterday because I knew that, you know, here in Austin, the parks are closed. And so I was like, okay, let me just go to the park real quick, go see the sunset, whatever. So I went, there was a cop there and he was like, yeah, go right ahead, just come back soon. So I went, I went to the park. And um, it's funny because as I parked my car, there was a sign that said, hide your belongings, take your keys, lock your doors. And I always naively leave my bag with my wallet and everything in it in the passenger seat on the floor. And I never think to myself, someone's gonna take it. I just, I, I, I think it's, it's like a naive way of thinking, but it's just like, oh, you know, like no one's gonna take my stuff. Like, you know, that's what I was thinking. But I remember thinking to myself like, oh, I'll be fine. And then I remember looking at my bag. It's a $600 Marc Jacobs bag. For those of you who want to know, I bought it. It was my first like adult purchase. I bought it 10 years ago, $600, 10 years. It's had a lot of usage to it. It's like the only bag that I really use and I've had it for 10 years. So I remember as I put my bag down on the passenger side on the floor, I said to myself, man, I've had this bag for a really long time. Maybe I need a new one. And then I was like, eh, you know what? It's fine. I'm happy with this bag. So those are the two thoughts that I had before I like got out of my car and locked the door. I was like, it said, you know, hide your stuff. And I was like, oh, it's fine. And I looked at the bag and I was like, I need a new bag. And I was like, no, I don't. So I got out, walked, spent time in the sun, like watched the sun set. It was beautiful. I was there maybe for a total of like 25 minutes max. And then I walk back to my car and I get in my car and I look over and there's glass everywhere. My window smashed in. I look down and my bag is gone. My wallet is gone. Inside my wallet, social security card is there, license, my credit card, my debit card. And in my bag is my house keys, my chapstick, um, my lip glosses, like just, you know, the, all the things that us women put in our bags, okay? And I was just in shock. My initial reaction was I was in shock. I didn't say anything. I was just like, this is not happening. And then I get out of my car and these kids are sitting next to me and I think they must have smoked their car out because it reeked a weed. And they were like, man, we just saw that. Like, we just pulled up to your car. We just saw that. I was like, did you see who did that? And they were like, no. Then I looked down and I see like there was a, uh, like a, like a police officer. So I brought him over and I was like, what do I do? And then I just started freaking out, okay? I was like, very raised voice. I was like, what is going on? Why don't human beings have any values? Why would someone do this? I don't understand. Like I'm freaking out. And then I just brought myself back. I just said to myself, nothing good is going to come out of this. Like me getting mad, me losing control, me not, my mind is spinning. Like get back. I just told myself to get back, get back to this place here in my solid core. Right? So I immediately just asked the cop, like, what do I need to do? He's like, you need to call 311. You need to file a police report, blah, 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 blah. I said, okay, well, my phone is dying. They didn't take my phone because I'm recording this on my phone. My phone was actually next to my seat, charging, and it was hidden. So they could have taken my phone, but they didn't. So I was like, okay, at least I have my phone. So I'm driving home, had a freak out moment, call my mom and dad, hysterically crying, just like, I feel violated. Like, so I had, I, I, I allowed myself to feel. It was like a good, solid 30 minutes of me feeling all these emotions, right? Like I'm angry, I'm annoyed, I'm frustrated, I'm scared because this person has my house keys and my license, which has my address, blah, blah, blah. Called my friend, crying hysterically to my friend. And I'm like, I just don't know what. So like, you know, I'm, I'm releasing, releasing, releasing. Then I get home and I'm like, okay, what do I need to do now? What do I need to do? Like I, I emoted as much as I could, as much as I needed to. And I said, what do I need to do? So first thing I did was I called up my credit card companies, got that handled very calmly. And I noticed in the past, I might've taken out frustration on my, cu my customer service people. They're just trying to do their job or, you know, just getting frustrated and I didn't. Then I called, then I went online and I ordered a new license, which I, I needed to call my mom to borrow her credit card from her to pay for my license. Then I realized, so I did that online. Then I ordered pizza because I was so hungry and my little cousin 
paid paid for my pizza. So like I just handled it. I just I I had my emotion and then I was like, what do I need to do to like get this handled? So I got it handled, got it handled, got it handled. And then I um, called up the insurance, filed that claim, whatever, got got the police police people called me back, got a police report number, whatever. And then Wade got my pizza, ate my pizza, and I was just like, you know, it's done. It's over with. Like I've done the best that I've could that I could have done right now. I ordered everything, I canceled everything, I blah blah blah, I did all the shit that I had to do on my end. And I was okay. Like I'm it's frustrating, right? Because like I wanted to get some groceries. Can't do that right now. Wanted to go um, need some chapstick. My chapstick's in my bag. Like it's just like little things, but it's like it's okay. It really is okay because you know it happened, and I'm not justifying what happened. Like I'm not saying like it's fine. It's fine. Like no, it's not fine to break into somebody's car. But I also realized, and this is really where I am thankful to my recovery and my sobriety is that in my recovery, when I'm feeling, when I was feeling all sorts of ways, frustrated, alone, whatever, I could not reach to the things that I needed, that I usually would have reached to, to numb myself and to run from my problems and my pain. I had to sit with it. I had to be with it. And I had to develop and cultivate that peace from within. I had to regulate my own emotions in healthier ways rather than exploding, rather than taking it out on someone, rather than hurting myself. And so I'm sharing all of this because, you know, it's a new day today. I went for a walk. I got, we had to go to Home Depot to get some stuff for the house. Got to change my locks. Um, I had a friend let me borrow 40 bucks cash so I could get some groceries. And it's, you know, it's a little frustrating because like, yes, I have to get a new wallet. I have to get a new bag. And I was like, mm, it's okay. I'll like, I'll handle it. Like, it's not a big deal. I took care of it. And it's like, because the commitment that I've made to myself is that no one or nothing will rob me of my peace. My peace is my peace. And I can, I allow myself to feel out of control. Like I out of control. I got angry. I got upset. I got frustrated. I cried. And then I was like, what do I need to do? Right? So this is not about stuffing your emotions. And this is not about not feeling your feelings, feel your feelings, but then get back to your center. You got to go get back to that solid place within you. That's unshakable that no one can ever take from you. My peace is something that no one can take from me. I don't care if you break into my house or you break into my car. It's frustrating, yes. And I did what I had to do to handle it, but you still can't take my peace from me. And I really want to share this with any of you who are going through anything right now, especially if you're out of a job or if you're worried about money or if your kids are at home and you're freaking out and you're like, ah. freaking out is not going to solve the problem. Allow yourself to feel frustrated. Don't take it out on anybody. And then ask yourself, what do I need to do to my, for myself? What do I need to do to get this handled? What do I need to do to get myself back? What will give me a sense of peace, right? Your peace is not gone, right? Your peace, like, their peace is within, but it's like, how do I access that, right? So for me, accessing my peace looked like handling the things that were like now taken from me, right? My cards, my wallet, my this, like, what do I need to do? So just, you know, I hope this helps, but it's like, it's, it's, it's done and over with and I can't do anything about it. I can in the future, never leave my shit out on the passenger seat floor. I'd learned that lesson, you know, like don't be that naive, Vasavi, hello. And um, that's it. I woke up today and I, I, I said to God, I was like, God, today's going to be a great day. It's a beautiful day to have a great day. Thank you so much that nothing worse could have happened. And um, whatever I needed to learn from this, I appreciate the lesson and that's it. Keep it moving. So I hope this helps. Um, I hope this helps. And I'm here if you, if you need to talk. Don't let anyone take you, take your piece away from you. It's yours. Bye.